just earlier this afternoon, we had the Supreme Court actually give a big ruling uh, for Texas Senate Bill 4, which will allow Texas authorities to arrest immigrants suspected of entering the country illegally. Now, this is it was a 6-3 decision. We had the usual, you know, uh, dissenters, Jackson, Sotomayor, and then Kagan dissented separately, but still dissented. So it was 6-3, which honestly... That's fine. OK, um, this is while the pending lawsuit plays out in a lower court federally. But uh, what say you on this win for uh, defending our border here in the state of Texas? To be on the show, I'm incredibly honored to be with y'all. Um, look, at the end of the day, we have the greatest attorney general in the history of Texas, and that is Ken Paxton, who is fighting for us at every level. And um, this is just yet another victory to add to the notch of successes that he's had. And so it was absolutely beautiful to see that the Supreme Court, many of them, did the right thing. They stood for what they should have stood with, which is the fact that Texas absolutely has the right to defend its own borders, especially when we are under the invasion that we're in. And frankly, Sarah, this is way too late in the game. We should have been doing this two years ago, four years ago. Um, and at the end of the day, better late than never. Um, it's not the strongest border bill we could have gotten. That was HB 20, uh, which was killed uh, by our speaker, Dade Phelan, uh, who upheld a point of order, which killed off our ability to have the border protection unit mobilized. But we got SB 4 across the finish line, making it a state jail felony to enter illegally in the state of Texas. And we're counting our victory victories on this. So massive victory for our state today. I So I'm so glad that you you gave credit to Attorney General Ken Paxton. Um, and he did. He tweeted out about this today. I still call it tweets. OK, sue me. He said, uh, huge no, yeah, win. I, I can't get over it. It'll never be X. It'll always I be know, Exactly. Exactly. So he said a uh, huge win. Texas has defeated the Biden administration's and the ACLU's emergency motions at, at the Supreme Court. Our immigration law, SB4, is now in effect. As always, it's my honor to defend Texas and its sovereignty and to lead us to victory in court. Now, before we get to to this other victory, which is, of course, the Pornhub uh, age verification. Um, is it does it ever like bother you that some of your colleagues seem to take victory laps on things like this happening because of Ken Paxton being our attorney general, even though they tried to remove him from office? Like, does that bother you at all? Well, it was an absolute kangaroo court. I mean, we, we just had an unprecedented weaponization of government inside the Texas House. Uh, and, you know, what we saw is only 21 Republicans in the Texas House actually had the courage to stand up for our greatest attorney general against this sham impeachment process where we were given less than 72 hours, which is unprecedented, mm -hmm. by the way, um, and never been done in the history of the tech, uh, state of Texas. And we were also not given real evidence. We were given hearsay by giving Get this, witnesses that were not sworn in under testimony. Absolutely ridiculous. And now some of our House colleagues have the audacity to take a victory lap and say, oh, look, we got this bill across strongest border legislation in the history. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, Texas House members historically are not great at providing strong conservative wins, but they're really good at tooting their own horn. You know, I tweeted out earlier today, at some point, we have got to hold the these Republicans accountable for doing victory laps for things that are absolutely ridiculous to celebrate. Of course we banned child gender modification. We have a Republican majority. Of course we did the Save Women's Sports Act. We don't need someone to pat us on the back and say, good job. We should be leading in Texas on these issues. This isn't something that we should be saying, oh, look at us. Good job, Republicans. No, we are a conservative state. We have a conservative grassroots effort that expects these victories. And sooner or later, we're going to have to start holding these Republicans accountable who are taking victory laps on passing a few GOP priorities while passing, get this, Sarah, over 500 Democrat priorities this last session. This is absurd. And so, yes, we should celebrate that SB4 is being upheld, but we should expect better of our Texas state representatives. You know, it's funny. Um, uh, so before we get to the uh, the, the other victory here, um, it's funny that you mentioned that because I had a conversation with one of your colleagues. Now, I won't, I'll tell you off air who it was, but uh, 
you could probably guess. And we were talking about, I said, you know, you always say, oh, this is the most conservative, you know, legislature in ever in the history of the state of Texas. I'm like, yeah, it's not that hard. You banned gender, you know, mutilation. You banned the mutilation of children. Wow, congratulations. Like, that's kind of a, like, hello? Yeah, you should be doing that. And it's like, you don't get to use that as a talking point when this is low-hanging fruit here because the other yes. side has gone so radical that, like, these are, duh, no duh, you know? So, um, okay, yes. so so I'm glad I'm glad to hear you uh, say share my sentiment on that, being that you are a member of, of the house yourself. Yes. So, so let's, so let's get to the Pornhub victory. Okay. So obviously one of the most, if not the most visited pornography platform in the country now has like taken their ball and gone home. They're very upset that, uh, the state now has an age verification requirement. Um, and the, of course this was argued in court. This was another victory that Ken Paxton argued for the state of Texas and was successful in that now, um, Pornhub, see, the thing is, is like all they could have done was figured out a way to verify age. But I guess you tell me, Nate, I guess they're like, no, we want to be able to provide sexual content for minors and you won't let us do that. So we're just going to leave the state of Texas. OK, don't threaten me with a good time. No kidding. You're spot on, Sarah. Like at the end of the day, we everything we've assumed about the pornographic industry is true. So we've always known that the children were the target. We see this in our educational materials that are infiltrating our, our school and sexually indoctrinating our children. We see this um, as ads are popping up on social media uh, that target children. We see this as they've said it. They're coming after your kids with these all age drag shows. We're seeing Seeing this everywhere. But now to have it on the record that Pornhub, right, the giant of the pornographic industry, which, by the way, the statistics are not on Pornhub's side when it comes to what this company actually does. In fact, 90 percent of the scenes contain some sort of physical or verbal aggression towards the opposite sex. We see that 97 percent of time that women are on the receiving end of physical abuse inside of these videos. This is not Pornhub. This is trash. Trafficking hub. And so the message that they sent to Texans was that, hey, guess what? You can blame your lawmakers. And I happily take that blame <laughs> for being the reason that Pornhub is leaving because they said this. They said, if we can't give kids safe porn, then we don't want to be involved at all. In other words, if we can't sexualize children, what's the point of our site? And I love that they said it because now we're going to hold them to it that the children were always the target. And now we get to look back and say, hey, guess what? You no longer have access inside the state of Texas. Our law didn't even ban them. Right. It just said they had to require an ID verification to make sure that you were 18 years or older. Yeah. Now, so I want to um, I want to share some of their uh, quote that they from their press release, because it it kind of struck me when they said, first of all, that, you know, the, uh, the argument is, oh, well, that's j they're just going to find VPNs around it. Oh, well, there's OK. I mean, like, should we not at least try to make it harder? You're just going to be like, oh, well, I mean, they're going to look at porn anyway, so we might as well just put it right in front of them. That's a dumb argument. But it yes. said it said uh not only will it not actually protect children, but it will also inevitably reduce content creators' ability to post and distribute legal adult content and directly impact their ability to share the artistic messages they want to convey it with. So, Nate, maybe you're just the one that got it wrong because this is just art. Nate, it's just art that they want to provide to kids. Well, my favorite argument that they have is that this is a First Amendment right. Yes. And the reality is... Sexual abuse is not a First Amendment right. Sexual abuse is not art. And anyone who considers sexual abuse and sexual exploitation art probably needs to be behind prison bars. Mm -hmm. And so this is like a major deal. And, and what we're seeing is the groomers are getting louder in our culture. The groomers are telling us who they are. And I've been saying this from the beginning. Look, if a groomer tells you he's a groomer, believe him. Right. If a groomer tells you she's a groomer, believe her. Like they're telling us who they are. They've been in the university systems forever and now they're coming after our children. And the reality is this is really just step one in the battle that we have. This 
is the beginning. And so for everyone, you know, the greatest argument I heard on my post, which I actually loved, was, Nate, this is ridiculous. This isn't going to do anything. Look at the tweets underneath your tweet. There's pornography on Twitter. And I've just simply responded with, great point. Let's go after it next session. (laughs) If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on, you know you do. Click here.